Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be starting a new series that I'm super excited about. We're going to play through all of the Nancy Drew games. I love the Nancy Drew games by Her Interactive. They're so much fun. I've been playing them for years and I've played all of them at least once. This uh, Nancy Drew the Deadly Device is actually one of the ones I've only played once. So this is a playthrough, not a walkthrough, um, but hopefully we'll still have a lot of fun. So let's get started. I'm going to play under Amateur Sleuth because I'm lame and because I like having a task list. I love the graphics. They're not like amazing, but they're really cool. looking at this okay Nancy you made it good you couldn't tell me much earlier what's the story you'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer the combination is one seven one nine four three got it I'll need full access to the lab and a cover for the cover say you're doing due diligence for a new investor I'll back you up if anyone asks. But full access to the lab? No. It's too dangerous. What? If I can't investigate everything, I might have a problem on my hands. All right. I'll have Ellie set up a demo for you. But that's it. The equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous. Got it. Approach the case how you want, but I think I know where you should start. Ryan, the police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she threatened him. Start there. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. Good luck. Stay safe. And please, help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist and a good man. Okay. So this is our task list. It gives us things to do. We can check them off. Can't check that off yet. Then we have a journal. In the newer games, we have a journal. So it gives us the combination, but it's also better just to write the stuff down, in my opinion. We have our phone, the camera, some games, settings, messages. Okay. So let's go into Nico's office. We're going to explore in here in a minute, but let's look for the case file. This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. Let's see. 171943. Nancy, here are the notes from the police investigation. Keep the contents of the file to yourself and do not remove it from Nico's office. If anyone should discover the file on you, your cover would be blown. Okay, so he's a PhD. He's a theoretical physicist. He was found in the Tesla coil lab. Okay, there's Mason Quinto, Ellie, Ryan, Gray, Victor. No ironclad alibis. There's a security video. We don't know what key card was used. Okay. Okay. So now we can check that off. You don't have to check it off. Did that. But it's fun to do. So let's snoop. I need to find a way to fix this. Of course you do. No? Okay. It's a bird. It's weird. I can't. Okay. 
Interesting. Nope. Can't look at the wall, apparently. It's over here. <gasps> Can It be. looks like it's missing the opening mechanism. Lots of things are missing. Always. Okay. How are we supposed to explore his office when there's nothing we can do? we're gonna leave okay let us where is the elevator this elevator pretty basic let's go upstairs oh pretty Is this like a mini Tesla coil? No? What does this say? I'm sure some of this will be um, relevant later. That's not scary at all. Ooh, what's this? Ah! I'm so sorry about that. Are we cool? No. Um, yes. Good. I was really hoping you'd be the type not to freak out about something like that. Not that you shouldn't. It's reasonable to freak out after a near-death experience. Not that that was super near-death, but you know, closer than what you get walking through most doors. It's okay. I'm fine. Good. I had a whole argument prepared about labs and the risks of working with machinery and the importance of forgiveness. Do you want me to hit all the bullet points? Uh, that's not necessary. Are you sure? I practiced. No, I, I get it. I'm Ryan. What do you do okay. at the lab? Weird. I'm so sorry, but I have to ask why you're here. Why are you here? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here to do due diligence for a potential new owner. I'm sorry. I'm an adult, and there's nothing funny about what you just said. Whoa, wait. Back to the information. We're getting a new owner? Maybe, but... First, I need to ask some intrusive questions. Oh. I know you've gotten enough of this, I really do, but it's my job. I've done worse things for my job. Like what? I build tools. They're not always used in a good way. What do you mean by that? I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. Confidentiality. Goodbye. Later. That's the only question you have for her, Nancy, really. Let's see if she'll let us snoop, snoop through her stuff. Okay, sure. Ooh, this could card. help getting into the lab. Yes, Nancy, you should say that loud behind the lady. Do we like Ryan? I don't know how I feel about Ryan so far. What's this? Can we have it? No? Hmm. Apparently we're supposed to do something with this. Apparently we have to build something at some point. I don't remember. I played this game when it first came out. So it's been a while since I've played. Like I said, I've only played it once. Ooh, pretty. I think that's like a key Is this thing. your motorcycle? It's my sweet ride! But it's not done yet. But I'm working on it. It's pretty. Okay, have we explored the tech workshop? Check. Okay, have we explored Nico's office? Check. Can't check that off yet. Okay, well, let's turn around. And let's go searching for more things. Maybe more people. This is cool. Why can't I look at it? I want to look at it. Ooh, what's this? Offices. Ooh, what's that? Hello. If it looks like I'm busy, that means I'm busy. I don't like you. What are you working on? It's immensely complicated. Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. I hate you. Put it in layman's terms. Fine. There's this shiny magic that lives in the power lines, and it's dangerous and sly like a fox. 
and I'm using math to trick it into leaving the power lines without accidentally making everyone die. That sounds like you're working on the wireless transmission of electricity to me. If you want to put too fine a point on it, go ahead, stranger. Which brings me to my next point. Who am I? Please let the answer be something that justifies me kicking you out of my workspace. I'm here on behalf of a new potential owner. Wrong. No, that's correct. No, I mean wrong answer for me, not the answer I wanted to hear. Do you know why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? The police already asked the same thing. Well, what did you tell them? I said if I were to have killed Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. Whoa, hold on. It's just a for instance. Uh -huh. Is it? Yes, that's because I think logically. I force myself to think from A to B to C and so on. Ryan is all over the place. For her, it's A to zucchini, to that thing from TV, to maybe C, then on to some non sequitur. I don't trust anyone I can't explain. Who do you see on an average day? Just me. Sometimes Ryan. You ask a lot of questions. Ever thought of being a scientist? Sometimes. Good answer. The world needs more people with questions and fewer people who are sure they have the answers. I like this. I think this is funny. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. He practically lived in the lab. If he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. So he'd come in here when you were gone? No, he'd use the network. He'd just snoop in your files? That seems kind of annoying. Not kind of. Entirely. It's unethical, and it allowed him to steal. What do you remember about the day Nico died? More than I care to. I imagine. Did anything stick out? Yes. The police. It was weird. One of us killed Nico, and here they were, talking about a basketball game. Like it was any other day. You said one of us. Why? Why not say someone? It's just an expression. It's not an expression I'm aware of. Don't be contrarian. It doesn't suit you. You just met me. What do you know? Do you like Ryan? Let me save you some time. I don't like anyone. I believe it. That can't be true. Observe, and I'll demonstrate. Uh-huh. Other people. You mentioned Nico stealing your work. Can you prove that? No. You must be pretty upset about that. Say what you really want to say. Did the police know your feelings about Nico? What a peculiar question. Do you have a peculiar answer? I do, in fact, have a peculiar answer. I actually told the police the truth. A more interesting question is how is Ryan still a free woman? Why shouldn't she be? In this case, the smoking gun is a miswired Tesla coil that she built. Uh huh. Did you dislike Nico? Very much so. Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? I would go that far and further. That guy was a jerk. That seems a little disrespectful considering. Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? Lots of jerks have died, and he's one of them. He's a dead, brilliant, jerk madman. The world would be much better off if he'd lived to share more of his intellect. But I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. It seems strange to me that you could be so blasé about a murder. I deal with things on my own time. But if you are desperate to watch someone cry, Ellie's always available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you go. Goodbye. So the beginning of these games, there's a lot of talking to people, which is, you know, annoying. But, you know, after a while you get to, into the questions and the puzzles and all of that. But there's a lot of talking at the beginning. I'm sure this will be important later. Again, I literally remember very little about this game. I don't remember who did it. I remember nothing. Let's go talk what to are you Ellie. doing? Fine. I can't talk to Ellie. 
Still what are you doing? No? Okay. I thought she was here. You said she was always here. Okay. Is there anything else up here? No. Okay, let's go back downstairs and see if we find anything interesting. And if not, we'll end the episode. What's this? Periodic table. Thrilling. Okay then. Let's go up here. Ooh, the security office. I can't get in. Ooh, can I try this? No. Fine. What's that side guy? Oh, those are the things we found. Hello? Um, sure. I met Ryan, and she really doesn't seem like she could hurt a fly. Could be. But that one's got a temper. I once heard her cursing Nico out like you wouldn't believe. She said that she wasn't afraid to hurt him if she had to. I didn't think much of it at the time. But now, I don't know. Can you tell me a little bit about Nico? He was an amazing scientist. Years ahead of his time. How long have you worked together? Decades. Did you spend any time together outside of work? I don't know if there was much outside of work for Nico. So, no. You seem pretty sure Ryan's the one who killed Nico. That's because she did. Ugh. She made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. And confidentially. The police told me they're almost certain it's her. And why didn't they, they just don't her? have enough evidence to get a conviction. Oh, please. This is your case. But don't let Ryan's buddy act fool you. She's not who she seems. Okay. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. You're not going to help me break into the security office. I don't want to talk to you. Let's go in here. <gasps> Lovely. Hello, Nancy. I forgot to tell you. We've been having a lot of outages lately. Convenient. Funny you mention that. I think you're having one right now. It's nothing to worry about. We've got backup on the big systems. Most of the time, Gray can get things back online in an hour. Occasionally it takes a while, but rarely does it come close to the critical window. Critical window? Some of the equipment can get unruly when the power supply isn't consistent. Don't worry about it, though. Take the time to get settled. Catch up on sleep. All right. Gotta run. That's not creepy at all, no. Okay, what's that? Ugh, oh, fine. You don't want me to walk around? Well, I can't turn around. Ugh, come on! Then let me turn around. Ow, my toe! Oh, I have to go through. Oof! Does my room? Eh, who knows. Oh, we can set the time. Okay. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I'm excited to get to play through the Deadly Device with you guys um, and get to share Nancy Drew um, games with you guys. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.